folks, Scott here from KelbyOne.com, where people go to get really good at Photoshop and Lightroom and photography, and we're doing a Photoshop background technique today. This was inspired by something I saw in my social media feed from New York Magazine. It was this little background, and I thought, that's kind of a cool little treatment, and it's easy, and it's fun, and we get to learn some cool Photoshop stuff along the way, so let's do it. All right, so here is the background. We're going to fill it with red to start off with. That's kind of our, our base color. Now, we're going to need to get the elliptical marquee tool, the circular marquee tool. But to make it a circle, you have to hold shift. And then I want to draw right from the center. So here's what, what I would do. Just select all and then press command T on Mac or control T on Windows. Why? Because that marks the exact center. So I can pull a guide out here from the ruler for the vertical center, and I can draw another guide out here. Look, it's marked right there. There's the center. Once you've done that, you can hit escape because we don't really need that and deselect. All right, now I know exactly where the center is, and so I can draw my circle exactly from the center. I hold shift to make it perfectly round, and I hold option so it when it draws, it draws from the center instead of from the corner, and we're gonna make a really big circle, like something like that. All right, so we got a really big circle. Now, I need to put that selected area up on its own layer. So I'm going to press Command J as in Juliet on Mac or Control J if you're on a Windows machine and you wind up with that, like a circle just up on its own layer. Now, to get that, uh, that depth effect, they added an outer glow. So go to the Effects menu here at the bottom of the Layers panel and choose Outer Glow. And it adds that little shadow. There you go. You just get kind of a... There it is, a black glow, and uh, that's uh, I have my opacity around 50% and the size at around 73. And, of course, I made black the color of the outer glow. Now, once you've done that, or you've already done all the hard part, the rest is really, really easy. We're going to make another circle, but we're going to cheat this time because we're going to have it automatically add the outer glow for us. So let's get the same tool, the elliptical marquee tool. Hold Shift and Option again, same thing. Shift Alt on Windows. Draw out another circle. It's almost, there we go, like that. And you know it's already centered and everything. But if, if, if we press Command J now, not only will it take its uh, the, the red from the layer below it, because it's going to make a copy, right? But it's also going to take the effect with it. Watch Command J on Macintosh, Control J, and look, it's already it's already doing the thing. And we can make let's fill that with like an orange color. So I'm going to go Shift Option Delete on Mac, Shift Alt Backspace on Windows to fill with what is now my foreground color. All we do is do it again, same thing. Shift option, oh, we don't need the color up there, so our shift option. Let's make a circle starting right in the middle. There we go, something like that. Let's choose a lighter color, so let's go to the, I clicked on the, by the way, I clicked on the foreground color swatch to bring up this color picker, and then we're just gonna move up a little with our color, something like that. Click OK, and then we go Command J on Mac, Control J on Windows. That gives us that last circle. Then we fill with that lighter color by using Shift Option Delete on Mac, Shift Alt Backspace on Windows. And then we can get rid of these guides. We can either just click on them with the Move tool and drag them away, or you could just choose Clear Guides from the View menu. All right, so we're pretty much there. We just need to put a person in there. We have a guy, a little Adobe stock guy here. Let's go ahead and uh, click on the Magic Wand tool. Don't actually use the Magic Wand tool because it's not great. Instead, go up here to Select Subject. Click one button. You're invoking Adobe's built-in uh, AI called Adobe Sensei, and it sees there's a person there and makes the selection for you. How nice is that? Simple copy and paste. Copy. Go back over here. Paste. Now, if you remember the one that we saw earlier, so this one over here, he he's not all the way, you know, down in, in the image. So we're gonna do this because you don't see like his legs and all that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this uh, orange layer here. You're gonna hold the Command key if you're on a Mac or the Control key if you're on Windows and click right on that circle, and it makes a selection of that layer. But notice that I'm still on his layer. Now, if I hit delete, it just cuts <laughs> circle hole out, out of him. Undo that. Here's what we're going to do instead. Go select inverse. So it selects everything but him. Actually, he needs to come down a little. He's not that high in their picture. He's 
he extends right over these two. There we go. Now go back, make that selection. Sorry, that was that's on me. Do the inverse again so it selects everything but him. Hit delete, and now he's inside that circle, and there you go. That's how you do it. So I hope you found that entertaining, helpful something to you in your work. Thank you for stopping by, guys, and we'll catch you next time.